morning, everyone. Dr. Eric, the fitness physician. Just a quick uh, uh, Q&A from a client and a, a couple colleagues. This has come up in the past before, so oftentimes when we're talking about hormone uh, therapy, uh, question, especially with my, my men, is that when they're on testosterone therapy, uh, they develop acne. You know, what can I do about this? Why is this happening? So, um, you know, there's a long answer to it, but obviously in, in acne, it has to do with a lot of different things. It's the natural bacteria, it's oil buildup, it's hormones, um, it can be a lot of other things too, of course. So, uh, it's a bigger answer, but bottom line is, you know, I always want to dig into the basic stuff, nutrition, stress, um, exercise, what are they taking, etc. So, um, think about when we were, you know, Teenagers, we obviously had a lot of hormones, we had a lot of oil, or probably weren't eating the best, and we had a lot of acne. So uh, when, when guys are on TRT or testosterone therapy, obviously we're getting those hormones back up to where they were, uh, not quite as 18, but getting them uh, better. So that can, of course, induce an environment, um, especially if you have oily skin or poor nutrition, et cetera, et cetera, that you can kind of research and have that reappearance of acne. Women get acne too, although it's usually more other things as well, different uh, varying estrogen levels, uh, a lot of other things involved there. So we'll talk about that in another video. But um, with guys, obviously the first step is number one, you know, how's your stress? How's your diet? You know, clean up your nutrition, uh, uh, lower the stress. Cortisol, of course, can do a lot of things and it's to the body and it's certainly to the skin as well. It can precipitate acne as well as other things. Uh, so we want to manage stress and really clean up the diet and get rid of the, the bad foods, eat whole foods, etc. cetera. Um, but again, if it's hormonally related that you were fine before, now you're on TRT, now you're getting it, now what do I do? That's a common common scenario. Sometimes it takes just an adjustment period and your body will just adapt and overcome it. Other times you may need to temporarily lower the dose and then slowly ramp it up. A lot of guys are on too high of a dose or they go too high too fast and it's just too quick. Uh, most, most of the time you don't need that high of a dose. You know, we can do pretty, pretty, pretty moderate dose to have awesome results and then you don't get those side effects. Same thing with things like uh, Arimidex and things. You don't need that if you're dosing it properly. So um, that's, again, a whole discussion for another day, but if you're dosing it properly, it shouldn't be an issue, but temporarily you may need to lower the dose. Some other things that can be, of course, local hygiene, you know, good cleansing, uh, a good facial or body cleanser. Um, you can use a lot of topical products such as benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, etc. cetera. Um, uh, the nice uh, topical uh, retinoin creams, etc., all are very, very good for getting rid of it. That might be all you need. Um, nutrition wise, of course, we touched on a little bit, but of course, things like zinc are very good. It helps body with uh, skin turnover, helps the skin cells that they die at the appropriate time, the apoptosis. Uh, so, appropriate doses of zinc are helpful as well 30 to 50 milligrams a day. Uh, vitamin B, uh, panathenic acid, or B5, is a good one to take as well. Um, it helps, has to do a lot with fatty acid metabolism inside the skin, the body. Uh, when those the propionic bacterium uh, sit on the skin and then they have there's a lot of oil there's an interaction of course when you get a lot of bacteria a lot of oil build up and you get some thickened skin that's the recipe for acne so by eliminating that by improving the fatty acid uh, metabolism burning up those so those oils don't accumulate that can be beneficial so panathenic acid um, carnitine can also help uh, with metabolism fatty acids as well has a lot of benefits internally i have it in my meta 3 uh, supplement actually more for fat loss but uh, which it can help it certainly can help with the skin as well so um so there's a couple of really quick simple things um of course you know some people will talk about the anti-inflammatory effect of the above molecules fish oils things like that um you know cur curcumin these are all good anti-inflammatory anything that's going to be an anti-inflammatory effect uh, can be very beneficial as well, of course, if, if all those things don't work and you're going aggressive, top, you can go to topical antibiotics, topical erythromycin, um, things, like, things of this nature. Uh, if you really have to, people that have real severe acne, they may need a short course of oral antibiotics like doxycycline or aminocycline uh, or even erythromycin, but typically the first two work pretty well too. Accutane is kind of the far end of the spectrum. It's an oral medication, but it has a lot of potential side effects, so it's something you want to reserve for severe cases only. So um, those are some simple things, but again, um, one thing I'd be remiss in, in mentioning, we talked about the hormonal environment, People ask, guys ask, you know, is it, is it because my estrogen is high? What can I do about that? Most of the time it's not estrogen. That's more with women. It's more because of the testosterone itself and because of its metabolite, DHT. Uh, testosterone is metabolized into DHT and that has a um, very pronounced effect, which has a lot of beneficial effects on the body. Actually, is, is, a lot of studies have shown that that's, that's responsible for a lot of the beneficial effects in terms of strength and libido, etc. But DHT also can uh, stimulate a lot of oil and a lot of uh, acne uh, if in some men. And again, some of it's genetic, but some of it's lifestyle too. So it has to do more with the DHT than the estrogen. Uh, some guys you know, have tried anti-estrogen therapies and things like this, but again, it's usually not the case. All the above strategies I mentioned are gonna be uh, much more beneficial. And again, most guys do well on those types of regimens. So that's kind of the why, the what, and, and wherefore. So uh, I thought it was a good question. I know it, come, it comes up often, so I figured I'd address that. 
everyone reach out to me with any other questions related to hormones, peptides, fitness, nutrition, etc. Happy to answer. So everyone have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye.